We're back once again like the Renegade Masters. Magpod is in the house for episode three, the long-awaited episode three. My name is Matt Allen, and alongside me, my co-host is Timmy Botts. We're excited. We're on the eve oh. of the season, Tim. It's, it's happening. It's been a long pre-season, but... Oh. It's just around the corner, which is what we're excited for. Well, it's been a long cricket season for you as well, which is why we've been a bit slow with getting episode three out. You nearly got all the way there. Yeah, we nearly did, but we choked in the final stages. So now it's hockey season. So, yeah, we'll move on from that. I've still got a few scars. and uh, Yeah, we'll, we'll roll on from that. I well, it's, it's interesting because we've, we've been um, very reserved. We've done early morning records on the past two. And, and here we are on a Thursday night here at The Nest, the place has been bloody jam-packed, hasn't it? It has. I, I had nearly had to park in Coburn just to get <laughs> in here. It was ridiculous coming here. Car parking space is all taken up. The bar's bloody pumping now. Everything's going on. Everyone must be coming out of the woodwork for round one. Everyone's ready and ready to go. And I hope you're ready to go, Magpies. It's going to be a big season. Lots of teams on the park. I'm, I'm just looking out there before. Um, the six o'clock, we had the lower grade men. Oh, there goes... The uh, the president Tanya passed the window. Uh, she's still holding the the, the high yeah, score on the is. on the leaderboard. She made sure she checked on that too. Yeah, we yeah. don't have a guest this evening. This is what we're going to call a mini mag pod. Yeah. Um, because uh, we, we've been pressed for time, but we thought it really important to have a look ahead. Of what's happening this weekend? Lots of games going on, obviously, um, and beyond into next week as well. We've got midweek masters um, for some grades that kicks off. It's hard to preview some of these fixtures because they don't always come out just you know as, as early as we would like them to. Mm. Um, maybe that's an issue that you want to take up directly with um, our competition organisers. We're going to be positive though. We are. We're not going to moan about the these podcast. things. We 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 are. we we're, we're, we're going to we're going to press on and uh, focus on the good things that are happening around the club. And there are a lot. Now, um, for, before we start properly. Correction corner. I did call for it last time. I said some of the information on the last show might not have been correct. I had two or three people, including a tweet from JD, saying Armo didn't play for YM in Ireland. He played for Corinthians. Ooh. So there's a correction. There are a couple of other corrections. And I said to people, don't tell me now because I'm not writing it down for you. Um, <laughs> what you need to do, record a little WhatsApp voice note, send it to me, and we'll air it to our listeners. Yes. Uh, and and that's exactly the same now um, for any of you listening. If we make any errors as we go along, or you just want to make a point, even more so now that we're getting into the season, a match report, we'd welcome it, wouldn't we? Yes, we would. It'd make um, our job a lot easier. And you could just do it directly after your game. Two or three of the boys or girls sitting around there, enjoying a, a refreshing, cool beverage afterwards. Mm-hmm. A little one-minute match report. Yep. Perfect. That would be nice. And uh, as long as there's no profanities or, you know, any big note in, anybody's got a ticket, oh, we, you know, we might have to think about that. Yeah. No, even no, that's what no, we want. No, we'll we want that. We'll I did. I used to write match reports when I was about 15 for my club back in the UK, always games that I played. Guaranteed I'd drop my name in there two or three times just to you know, one of those delicate passes, a oh, great oh. goal, that sort of thing. But that's yeah. what we want. We do. We do want that. And it gives... Gets out uh, a bit more variety to to our listeners. Yeah, and something we might miss. So. And you, you'll receive those, won't you? Your phone number is. Um, no, I'm okay, no, no, we don't know, no, um, not anymore. No, you got yeah, into trouble no. with that. Handing uh, your phone I number do out. Give, actually, I shouldn't lie. I give it out fr- quite frequently. It just never gets used. So. Mm. Um, so we don't know if it works or not. Don't know. No. no, no, no. None of the girls have ever called me back. So. Now, we did a little test before. We've got a different microphone set up here this evening because I've only got one set of the, the headset mics and you've got the um, the roving r- reporter, yeah. roving yep. um, botsy. Is that what we call you, roving botsy? Oh, I'll whatever, call whatever. worse. So yeah, that's what, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so at any given time, you might decide to jump up and see who's left in the in the bar area. We're in, in the meeting room here at the club at the moment. Um, so feel free if I'm boring mm-hmm. you at any point. We can do that. I can play yeah, a little interlude. Drink. Don't worry, we... I'll be heading there, so it's all right. All right, excellent. Good stuff. So before we go into the fixtures for this weekend and talk around the teams, what else is on your list there, Botsy, on what's going on around the club? Oh, so obviously there's a lot going on around the club. So next week I've been uh, informed that Thursday night 
dinners are going to be back on here. Woohoo. Um, you will need to book in. Uh, so yeah, similar system as to last year. Be, yeah, there'll be a Google a Google form. The great thing is we've uh, got fresh blood in, so Ooh. you know maybe a bit less food poisoning than when I was well, I was doing right. the food. Well, Gobby was out there in the bar without a shirt on before, and it looked like he's been missing the Thursday night dinners. That's yes, for sure. right. well, so that, we need to put a couple in him. That's what they're for. So yeah, so the the process will be. Um, we're going to be ahead on our menus, so you're going to know a week, two, three ahead of what's Whoa. coming up. Nice. Um, and you can get in, if you can do it before the Tuesday and book ahead, that would be perfect. We'll always make a little bit more on top just to cover those that um, But to guarantee your out. spot, you need to get in on Tuesday. Absolutely. So, that's, yeah. that's the best. Yeah, then, they'll um, be back. After that, I think we're, we're hosting uh, Anzac Day games as well and i think we've got another one i think that you'll touch on is it next friday that yeah so and anzac day four games this year four games the yeah so two two men's and two women's yep. games which is great against uh well obviously against uh reds as we always well play. yeah ones and twos in the in in the men's yeah um i'm just looking down the fixtures that i've got here uh, I'll, I'll store while you're doing that now we've also got a uh Pool table in here in the clubhouse now. I just saw a couple of the girls out there playing. Um, so make sure you get in, get used in that, look after it. Freshly, like, I sourced the Ooh. bays. It's from the UK. It's a straw and 6811 for any of the pool table fount aficionados that are out there. Oh, yeah. Running very fast, very fast. smooth. Um, it's level and... I haven't quite worked out how to scam people properly, but I will say that Berger and I, Berger did a great job on, on laying the cloth. Um, we played the first two games on there, spanked him 2-0. Oh, that's that's all I'm saying. No, that's a good start. That's good. That's good. Uh, still looking at the fixtures now that we're talking Yeah, no, no, no. I've got, I've got no, him on, got on a separate piece of paper here. Um, <laughs> we've, uh, what have I done there? Oh, here we go. I've got it over two pieces of paper, so I've got to now try and align them. Yeah. Um, red threes, reds. Uh, Prem three women are playing Reds. Yep. Yep. Div five women are beating playing Vic Park. Yep. Fours and that's yeah. So that's our, our women's twos, isn't yep. it? Um, yeah. It's going to be a big day. Um, we always put on a bit of a show for it. Um, yeah. Spe very special day. Mm. I think I might be out there on the mic oh. um, doing a bit of emceeing Ooh. beforehand. I um, love the sound of that. Mm. Cheering up the crowd. I don't know about yeah. now. We've got to be but very careful with the noise we make for the locals, though, because we're not allowed to have Get the, the locals around, I reckon, but that's all right. I know what you're saying. Get them around. Get but, them around. But we'll be playing on our nice, clean turf, Matty Allen. Yes, we had a uh, fresh... Oh, it needed a clean box because we had some my, grass... My room. Well, we had grass renovations happening last mm. week out, out there, and they're coming back beautifully. Oh, Tuesday next week, we're booked in for... Uh, fertilising and wetting agents going on there. We don't have any grass games on there this weekend, which is a blessing in disguise because it just gives them a week more on recovery. So we were starting to get some lumps and bumps on there because of some um, ant infestations. It's been scalped totally. The work that's been put in by um, City of Coburn and programmed on, on their behalf has been superb. And small hands? It's that, no, no, he's not. No. Well, Matt, Manny, something. who's been behind the bar tonight, he's a program no. guy. Well, thanks, uh, program. Sorry, wrong person. Spongy, he's a, he's a program. But there's plenty of program people around. So, Even bloody so Pip Greenacre is working for program. We're going to have a, a grass turf out the back. Is oh, that it's going to be, it's it's gonna gonna be, be beautiful. Smooth. It's going to be beautiful. A lot of the, spun the, the sponginess has gone. Yeah. Well, I was talking to somebody earlier about the pool table. They thought I was talking about the grass. Mate, that's how good Then there's be. not much difference. Well, there certainly won't be once no. the season starts out on there. Oh, that's looking good. And then, um, yeah, obviously the uniform shop, Matty Allen. We're going to need gear to uh, get out there and play uniform. Make sure that we're in our uh, Rio paraphernalia. Tell me when it's uh, open. It's Lots. open Tuesdays and Thursdays, 5 to 7. I believe our beautiful Lil will be manning it for majority of that unless she's training like she did tonight um but um we encourage that lil um but yep five to seven the uniform shop is open it's got all sorts of things if your bag's got a hole in it we've got that sorted as well so not only is it just a uniform we've also got a little bit of a still got some of those shop. some of those great um uh, rugby shirts from the 90th last Ooh. year you want your sticks we got sticks you want grips we got grips you want whistles gloves. gum shields gloves Oh. Socks, inners, socks, 
uh, sell shin any, pads. Any hockey skill? Because I might need some of that. None of that available. And certainly not for you, anyway. Probably. Fair pa- enough. Pass, Thank you. Pass but down. everything else we've got covered in that shop, and and it will be served with a smile at a beautiful price as well. So, I uh, can't. Uh, I like I, I like that unless yeah. it's uh, Manny. Can you just open up the <laughs> and then it's then it's quite a grump. Oh, yeah, a grumpy, it's like a grumpy that? shopkeeper yeah. begrudgingly selling something to you. Um, uh, we'll take your money, but oh, I don't really. Want, oh, half God. in your pocket, half in the. Corner. No, no, don't start no, no, those sorry, rumors. No, no, sorry, I didn't hear any of that. But cash is king. We've had um, uh, Western Masters hockey here at the club yesterday from twelve thirty till seven with all the age groups that normally play at the stadium. Good money on the bar, by the way. Um, but they was recruiting some of them. I heard. Well, they were delighted that they could actually pay cash here, and of course, oh. you can still pay cash here at the Nest. We'll take oh. lunch and vouchers, milk oh. bottle tops. Good. Not American. Not not, not American Express. No. 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 But, but we'll barter. We're happy to be. We're flexible with with and, and for these masters. Well, it seems to be for these masters guys, cash is still very important. Yeah. I don't understand why. Well, they're under the bed in the shoebox or something like here. Yes, sometimes. and the thing I hear most is um, it's so people don't know where people. I'm not saying wives, but it's where people don't know where I'm spending my money. Mm, cash terrible. is king, uh, and I even sold a shirt yesterday um, from to a player who um, said I went to the bank today and drew out all my money. Stuff I'm I'm, I'm not going to let this turn into a, a cashless society. <laughs> He was quite vehement about <laughs> that it. That is gold. But it was good. It was good, good, good. Eat for you to come in and buy buy a shirt. Mm-hmm. E- excellent stuff. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, oh, that's that's actually all on my my key list. And you didn't tell me anything else. Have we? Have we uh, forgotten? Pool, pool table, turf clean. So yeah, the turf the turf clean was necessary because the yeah. dust that came up off the the, the renovations on the grass oh, out the back. Hang on, I've just thought about it. What's that? Scoreboard. Oh, the scoreboard, the scoreboard. yes. The unplugged yeah. in scoreboard. But, but the main thing is it the will. scoreboard is up. It is up. It's in place. It is up. And also over in the uh, dugouts, the beautiful new seats. I don't know if we mentioned that in the previous part. The, the racing seats. Yeah, they yeah. would. I sat in them the other way. Much uh, much jealousy from other clubs that have, uh, have, have seen it. And I've left them uncovered just to make sure that everybody sees nice. them at the moment. Nice. Another club training here tonight. They're walking away jealous, I reckon. They'll all be playing. Yes. They'll all be playing for us within two years, anyway. We're a destination club. You know? We know this. Yeah, right. and the showers are just testament to that. Oh, I haven't. Have you had one? No, I haven't. You yet. should. I, I might. I might have to. If you lived at Devo's place, you'd need to use them because they ran out of water again. So he turned oh, up. He turned up water. at ten o'clock this morning. Uh, not this morning. A couple of mornings ago. Um, are you there at the club? Oh. I'm like, yeah, I'm here. Oh, I'll see you soon. I thought maybe he's got a gift for me or, you know, uh, wanted to impart some hockey knowledge with him. No, he just wanted to use the bloody shower. He used the shower. So they're that good that he's uh, decided to... Put, well, you say we're a destination club. club. These are destination yeah, showers. showers. There you go. Now, there's not many venues yeah. that can... Debo's can... leaving the ranch to come here to have a shower. That's how good they are. Yes. That's what I'm saying. All right, so this is only going to be a mini mag pod, so yeah. we're not going to take up too much of your time. There will be more in-depth interviews coming up. Oh, we've got a special guest coming up. I don't know. Do we just yeah, leave we... it on a teaser? Or do no, we you can to... say the next guest oh, is. Oh, yeah. Well, our next guest will be Mon Miller uh, from the One uh, Squad and also heavily involved in the uh, All Abilities, which is uh, a big thing that our club's doing and um, something that uh, I believe her and Jade were involved in, uh, setting it up and... That is obviously we'll let them talk about a bit more, but um, yeah, that's that's our, our special guest that we do have coming up. Now, look, if you've got any questions for Mont about the All Abilities program and the great work that she's doing there, you can send that in to us. Mm. You can email me operations at freerhockey dot com, and I'll make sure it's included. Or just a in dog the next show. In a, a dad might have already given me a couple, so. Um, be oh really? So okay. I know right. a dad. Thanks, Vulture. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Good. All right, on to the weekend then, mm. Bots. So uh, juniors don't start just yet. So we're just talking about our seniors and our masters getting underway this weekend. And, uh, yeah, we couldn't be more excited. What did we work out? How many teams? We've got 18 Eight, teams 18 taking the part teams. this weekend. Yep. Um, 15 of them away. We, we, won't, we won't go any, any uh, further. Only, that we're positive here, Matt. Only, we are. Only the three home teams. So um, they're on Sunday. Should we go down the list? Yeah. On uh, Let's do... Well, let's do our home teams first because it's oh, a much shorter list. It is. So these are all Sunday games. Our Div- 
Div- Div- Division 4 men. Uh, they take on UWA. That's our threes against their threes. So neither club's uh, threes team are in the, the Prem 3 grade. Yep. Followed by our Div 6 men, which is the next side down on our, our ranking. So that's 304 taking on Raiders 3. And the final Frio game here is Div 7 Black Men taking on Blades 1s. Um, and then we've got a couple of Canning games Bit after, of after, side, after that. that. One out here. Yes, there are some um, some interesting names in there. Some, some, so, some Luke, interesting, yeah. So Luke, Luke Abbott's taking uh, the mantle there as managing the side. So good luck, Luke. Look forward to seeing how you boys. I believe we went for a higher grade in the in the um, you know the nominations yeah. team process, but it, the door was shut. Yeah, so we're going to have to do it the hard way there. Flag mantle. Yep, that's a, that's nice. Is that who we're getting around this season? Yeah, yeah. It's the only team. Or yeah, well, I'm keeping in that side. So. Oh, are you? Yeah, not this way. But oh, I will be. Yeah, I'm the return. When? Well, who did you last play in goal with? Twos. Did oh, you? No, no, I forgot about your team last year. Yes. Yeah. I think you we had won. two. Yeah, you had two uh, against Vic Park. One of them I you, did you were in goal. Yeah. I think I touched the ball twice. You that there was a nice logging stick save at, um, was. Yeah, at one stage. Yeah. All right. I've got more work in the warm out. On to our away teams for this weekend. Our earliest game. Will this scroll up? Yeah. Our earliest game. Oh, well, in fact, our earliest game was a 12 30 start here at the Nest, was due to be at Newman. That's our mm. 50s ones team. Um, I might have had some influence in um, getting the game moved here onto turf. Oh, clever. Um, although I was told there are a couple of young, fit, quite good players in the Newman side and maybe we should probably play them on grass rather than on turf. But, look, you know, how we'll deal with, 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 no, we've, we'll, got the, we've got the skill, we'll take them on. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. I'm not quite sure, sure why this isn't going all the way up for me to view it, Botsy, but it's okay. Mm. Um, so... Uh, at Calamunda, at Harfield Park, 3.30, uh, over 50s Div 2 men play. And at 2 o'clock, just before our over 60s Div 2 men play. So that's good. There's back-to-back for some support over there. Yeah, well, in the hills? Yeah, up in the hills. Um, we've got Div 6 women at 2.30 against Lakers at HBF Arena. Um then our Div 8 gold men, I'm going by times as we're going to also on at 2.30, away to Kalamunda at Southern River. Um, our over 40s Div 2 men, they're up at Lake Joondal at Baptist College. Maybe they can pop over the road to the, um, to the arena. Yeah. They start at 2 o'clock, away to Lakers. Div 9 gold men, a 4 o'clock starts against Quinana down at Rocco uh, at 6.30, we've got uh, our women's fours, Div 7, away to Lions at uh, Shenton. Mm-hmm. Um, I've mentioned our 50s ones. Our 50s threes, they play against Newman at Newman. They've got a two o'clock start. Continuing down this. We've also got a Newman fixture, um, Newman ones against our Div 5 women at Hale. Oh, that's on Sunday at 2.30. Yep. Um, one o'clock at Southern River on Sunday. Our Div Seven Gold Men play. That's our sixes. Uh, up at Whitford's, our Div Ten, a new team. New team. A Div Ten men, mainly Northern sides that are in that take on Whitford Sixes at five thirty Sunday. What a dream time oh, to be playing. Yeah. Um, okay, and then we switch to Uni. Sunday four p.m. Men's ones taking on the Leak Munchers. Um, our men's twos follow mm-hmm. at 5.30. And then at 7 o'clock, the your girls, um, the Prem 3 women and women's ones, take the field. And that rounds out all of our games. That must have been 18, yeah, 18 teams. That have, 18. Yep. Um, so we're looking forward to getting your news. We want to hear about your top goal scorers or even Ooh. your terrible goal misses. Anything to embarrass your teammates, we'll take it, won't we? Yeah, we will. Well, obviously, see, I'll touch on me uh, girls. I did get a little bit of input. Uh, well, you should men. you should have some input. Oh, sorry. For, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. For the, well, let, for let's, the men. So let, let, let's find out about what's happening with our women's ones. Don't give mm-hmm. us the team list unless you were, yeah. you've actually published the team list yeah, already. Yeah, we, we, we're organised. We're published. Well, let us know who's morning, playing, uh, who's new, oh, what's all right, going all right, on. All right, all right. Well, so first and foremost, I'll go, uh, I'll announce the... Uh, our one side, as we like to call it, so our Div 3. So 
Um, we got just before I do announce, we we've got a, quite a few new players. Are we doing shirt presentations this year? Uh, That's well, not planned. No, it's all, it's all, all a bit too that, compressed. Yeah, it's kind of a little yeah, bit hard yeah. to do. So we haven't done that for a couple of years actually. But um, yeah, we've got Bree Pilly, uh, Maddie Murphy, uh, Heidi Rochester, uh, Joe Sinem, and. Uh, making their club debuts in the ones. Beautiful. And we've got Jess Johnson also making her debut uh, in the ones who's come through the junior ranks. So um, I won't go through the rest of the side. Go on, go um, through the rest of the side. Right, we've got all time. All right. It's all right. I know well, you want to go got, home, but we've got time. We've got Bree, Nat, Mackenzie Brewer. Don't Kate repeat Trudelli. the ones you already said. Just go to the ones you Con already Miller, said. Jesse Bates, uh, Annabelle Wallace, Caitlin Eglinton, Taddy Tabak. Uh, oh, full, na- full, say, name. full name Well that's how I think you say it I'm not sure So sorry Taddy uh, I forgot to say before Janice Stevens Also making a club debut Sally Finaki Kai Rowcroft And Jess Oh sorry I've already said Jess So that rounds out my one side um, We do have a few that obviously are away A couple of injured So there are a couple more to come back into that side But it's a very strong side for round one And I'm walking in very confident Matty Allen Who are we playing? We play in UWA. Oh, UW. Well, that's who they lo- uh, That's who's losing on Sunday at seven o'clock. Oh, oh! You know what I'm looking forward to for mm. tea on Sunday night? Oh, oh league soup! Oh, oh, I love a bit of league soup. Well, we beat them out there last year as well. I like beating them. And then in our twos, um, we've got Imi, Imogen Wills in that. Peggy Taylor, Maya Falls, Hannah Claddingbolt playing her club debut. Arizona Galbraith, who's come back after a couple Great. of years yep. away, which is really nice to see. Um, Megan uh, Phelan, uh, who's also making a club debut. Keely Case, Jeremy uh, Jess May Case, Charlie White, Tara Whitney, Laura, and I'm not going to try and announce this, but Laura's uh, a new player. Uh, oh, come on, there, let's have a look. Under Charlie's name, Pianta, I think. Piantoni. Pantone. Yeah. Oh, well, Pantone. Well, all right. I'm dyslexic, so it doesn't not, matter. Well, it's not because you're reading off your bloody phone, and it? Yeah, well, I couldn't work that out, could yeah. I? And then uh, Bree Southwell, uh, and uh, that rounds out the side. So, um, yeah, very confident with uh, the two sides we've been selecting. Yeah, um, good, good. And obviously, numbers. yeah, lots of numbers down at training. So, so, and, you know, maybe if you didn't make it to where you wanted to, Work hard. Work hard. Put in the performances. Yeah. Show why you should be be up there, and well, you know, keep everybody on it. their toes. The way that it's uh, working at the moment is we've got that many numbers that um, you know the the fluid fluidity between the grades is going to be happening. So that's been expressed to the girls, and it's it's a great situation to be in yeah. um, from where we have come from. And um, I think I think it's the thing for anybody within the club. Though. You play for the club. You don't play for an individual team within the club. So. If you've got aspirations to, to to play at a higher level or you know in a different grade, you put the work in, you excel in the grade you're at. The opportunities will come for yeah, you. There's yeah. there's no closed shop. A hundred percent, and it's all part of being part of a team as well, isn't it? You know, watching other people succeed when sometimes it's uh, where you would want to be. So um, I think that's that's where we are at, and obviously. Um, yeah, our culture in the women's side is really good at the moment. I know that's a kind of buzzword, but it, you can just see it with the way the girls act around themselves. And uh, I guess it would be uh, admiss for me not to mention the coaching staff that we've got up. Sure. So I've got Matty Bird um, joining me uh, up in the ones, and then Matt Agar's taken on the twos, so he's uh, walking into a premiership side. So uh, uh, big boots to fill there. Obviously no pressure at all, but he's just got to double it up. So... Um, yeah, been very lucky. And then obviously down the grades also, we've got Matt Ryan, Kobe Rokoff and Eric. I think uh, Yeah, thank you. I didn't realise, I didn't know his last name to say. <laughs> uh, they've joined in. He was, born, he was born to be in Australia. He's of mm-hmm. Kenyan background, but his surname is Odingo. Odingo, there we go. That's perfect. Where else, where else would you move to? Should, rather than Eric, we should call him Ernie. But... Um, no, we've got great coaching Well, stuff. Eric and Ernie are very famous old... You know, the Morecambe and Wise were Eric and Ernie, famous uh, oh, TV, yeah. British TV oh, well, double the British, there you go. I yeah. didn't know that. Well, there we go. Yeah, Eric but, and Ernie, there we are. But, yeah, no, we've, we've, we're tracking well on the women's side. Um, yeah, fairly confident with how we're going. We did a really 
solid pre-season, 12 weeks. So. Well, yeah, I think for, we spoke before in the last episode, the longest pre-season I've known at the club across men's and women's. Yeah. Uh, so if we ain't fit and ready to go now, it's never going to happen. Never, no. But, yeah, obviously we're, we're looking to push both our grades, well, all our grades up, getting promoted. Um, it's a big push. So, um, yeah, we've started off on the right foot and obviously on the weekend is where we put all our hard work in, into work. But... Um, yeah, it would be nice to see how the girls go and obviously, you know, rewarding some of the players who have done done the hard yards over the pre-season. So. Yeah, yeah. Now, I saw good numbers again out with uh, men's ones and twos group out in the grass running beforehand and again, super, super numbers, high intensity in the training. Um, every Tuesday and Thursday when they've been out there and on the Saturday mornings on the, the run into the season. Uh, what have you got by way of news on uh, who's involved, who's new, um, some names and faces that perhaps you we. Um... Oh, well, I was just uh, I was just getting up. Uh, so on Tuesday night after the girls had finished training, I said no running. So they decided to do their own running. Went out and yeah, our beautiful new grass is getting done. Is this is Strava, right? Yeah, okay, that's yes, Strava, yeah. and just rode our pies on our on our back uh, with their running patterns. Yeah, with their yeah, running. Yeah, maybe we can make nice. that our. Uh, cover photo for this episode maybe. yeah no, okay that's a good point yeah, we'll do that because um, there's nobody here to take a photo tonight exactly so. there we go but uh no just over on our side obviously we've picked up a few few players but there's a couple that i just would like to just touch on like we've got um maddie murphy who's come over from tasmania yeah um, and maddie's also co-coaching the seven eight girls well, with me so i've been out there this evening um so you mean with, she's with the young coaching girls. and you're you're listening Next, well, not yet. No, she's asked. She actually said to me tonight, said, uh, "Do you want to going forward? You, know, you do one session, I do one session." I went, "Yep, yeah, great. You do next week. Thanks Fantastic. very much." Yeah, lovely. But very she's happy. she's fitted in seamlessly um, to our squad so far. A, an exceptional hockey player. Well, the um, way that she roofed a couple at Young Abbey um, Atkinson in, in goal when I said, "Okay, girls, let's see Maddie do it now." Um, yes, yep. goal goalkeepers in Prem Three, beware. Because you've got aware. some problems coming your way. Yeah, 100%. So uh, that's uh, her there. And then obviously as well, Joe Sinem, who I, th- I believe, and, and I should have got my ducks in yeah, a It's had a bit of a break, but it's been, th- yeah, been playing some AFLW. AFL, I believe, yeah. and then maybe had a run off. Um, and he's now with us. And again, she's fitting in seamlessly with uh, a lot of experience uh I believe she might have even been in a state squad at one point. Well, but what we've got to say to anybody yeah. that knew that's joining the club, Welcome. Welcome to the Magpies. I think it's something that we do well, is welcome new people and integrate them and make them feel comfortable. Mm. We don't have some of the nepotism that might happen at other clubs. Um, the opportunities there. But even if it ain't, you're not getting to where you want to, you're going to have a good time with good people around good time you. And there's always an opportunity. You put the hard yards in or, you know, there's, there is always opportunities here at this club, and which is something that... Uh, a lot of the new players have actually made comments about so yeah and you know with our great facilities why wouldn't you want to come play here man why not the showers did we mention oh, the showers did we mention the showers oh looks good all right so yeah. i do you, okay anybody else on the women do you, do you no, want to make no, any comments on on incomings with the men um yeah well i've got i've got a list from devo for yep. the men so obviously uh on the men's side we've got nick martin uh ex kookaburra very good Dylan, Dylan Martin. Dylan, what did I say, Nick? Oh, I've read the bottom line. Yeah, Dylan Martin. Good mates with uh, my mate Andre de Filippo, which we'll try and get him over. See, we'll plug him in. Uh, Nick Jennings. There seems to be a lot of people here. Pretty much 90% of these people I'll name come from New South Wales, yep. I reckon. Well, it uh, makes a change from us bringing everybody over from Tasmania, well, doesn't it? We must have run out of people from yeah, Tasmania. Yeah, no more we hockey players left. sending them back or something yeah. now, are we? Uh, we've got Lane Carr, Carl Webster, uh, the angriest man in hockey, WA, Reese Angwin, Steph Moulet. Uh, how do you say Steph's name? Moutet. Week? Moutet. There we go. There we go. The Diamond Man. Steph. Steph. And uh, I've been giving he's this... Back. He's back. He's, he's back, back again. Back. Yeah, he's yeah. back. He's a very good hockey yeah. player. Yeah. And uh, I've been told that Lee Mc, uh, no, Cormack... No, just Cormack. Just Cormack. We've already got a McCormack. Yeah. We don't need another one of them. No. Uh, he's uh, apparently making his one stay boo this week. Oh, so, uh, there you okay. go. That'll keep a lot of girls happy. Well, well and, and obviously he's just um, boosting the, the legend of the old guard here at the club because oh. uh, I think he got a gold in state 40s, captain in New South Wales. Yeah, I did, I did hear that, but because it was New South Wales, do we give that much credit or...? 
but we want we need the shirt and the medal in a frame yeah, at his okay. expense yeah. um, to go Until up on the wall. End, Otherwise, it didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. And then also we've got like Riley Carr, Max Biff, uh, Briffa uh, from Subs, Cooper Byrne. Cooper, Liam, yeah, Cooper Burns, Nathan Sinner. Yeah, Liam, Liam Henderson. Yeah, so they're all the old Corey development Weird, squad yeah. guys um, that are um, uh, on our import list. In import list, yeah. yeah. And then we've got, yeah, Co- Corey and Jack. Um, so Jack is back and Corey as well um, yeah. as our um, AIS players. But we don't really know how much we'll see them. It's, well, you don't get a lot in the Olympic year. Hopefully we don't see them at all and we're seeing them on TV. So that's, yeah. that's what we want from uh, the people involved in our club. But... And I think the last name on our list is Jai Clark, who's a keeper, hockey yeah. ones player as well. Oh, he's a keeper, is he? He's keeper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, NT boy. Oh, so in NT. fact, Jai, I'm waiting for that singlet you promised me. I'm yeah, sure you're Jai. listening in. Yeah. Right. Should we go and see if he's out there? Or do you want to go and have a little wander? All right. You know, just because, yeah, the the roving reporter. The roving reporter's coming in. Tim Butler. Now, he's going to speak. He doesn't have the headphones on. He's just got so, the... Yep. Thing, but he can he's talk. Out. He's going out. Okay. Which one's Jai? Hang on. He doesn't even know who Jai is. Hang on. We can't see Which each other Which one's Jai? Ah, Jai. All right. So, I'm approaching Jai here. No, now, we've got to make sure no explicit language. Now, Matty Allen wants to know where's the singlet that you've been promising him. Uh, he hasn't been here the last two weeks when I was here, and I was away for a week. So next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, Matty Allen, that's happening here. Well, like he doesn't so, trust um, leaving it behind I'm the bar. I'm here in the club. <laughs> There's uh, a few people on, 10 people here, some waspies here, some people hanging out. There you go. All right, I'm back in. Do you want to say anything, Matt Bird? No, we're all good. You're all good, we're all good, Roman. Do you want to say something? Oh, Kiz, hello, Kiz. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're doing the podcast. This microphone works, so it's on the live record right now. Uh, how was your wedding? Yeah, mate, I woke up the next day, married and hung over. Best day of his life. Yeah, I noticed I didn't get an invite, so um, I think I would have done better than Isaac Smallhands. He slept under the table. Thanks, good chat. All right, I'm coming back in, Matty Allen. You can start talking. Oh, well, I've just seen Luke Keeley walk past the um, the window here. and Thank you for that, Bots, anyway. I saw Luke Keeley walk past the window. Now, Luke, when you next down at the turf, you'll see some rubber attached to the back um, of the limestone either side of the goals at either end of the turf. Luke, was, he was here for about five hours sorting it out. Gratis, free. So do check out Keeley Fabrications if you need any um, particularly stainless metal work done. About two years ago, Luke also built the um, the lid that goes on top of the... Um, the the esky of essentially behind the bar, oh, all for free, all for the club. So thank you, Luke, and thank, thank you, you for Luke. Keely Fabrications. If you need his number, you can hit me up. Um, we will have more sponsors to talk about. Things are getting finalised from Scotty, our sponsorship coordinator. But there are still opportunities if you want to pump a bit of money into the club, or even something you know, a, a barter system or exchange or whatever. Um, all donations gratefully received. Yeah, and we've, and we've talked about it with our 18 teams. There's a lot of exposure there for you, so the opportunity is good. Ah. <laughs> you see, this is the problem when you've got yeah. these big wide windows out uh-huh. here, um, bots and people decide to pull funny faces. Thank, thanks, Dylan Martin. Yep. It's hard not to react, isn't it? It is hard. Yeah. It I is. always wonder how, you know, when um, like the Royal Show's on, you get 6PR broadcasting live and they've got the little mm. caravan there. And they're just looking out to everything. It's a very professional job to be done without yes. just cracking up because some of the you know the hand gestures and things you Losing receive. Losing concentration. Yeah, yes, yes. A, it I is. guess that's why they get paid the big bucks, Matt. Yeah, I don't think they get paid that. Yeah. Very, not six no. PR. Not the bucks aren't that big. No, no, true. Um, all right, anything else on the list? Or can we let these good people get on with their hockey weekend? Because I'm sure they're listening before they head to the game. To the game or... Now, uh, right. club song. Club There's song, an important yeah. thing, because if you are new to the club, you're listening to this for the first time, um, it can be a little bit daunting. Oh, I don't know if it's daunting. When you win the game and you're pulled into the circle and arms are around and you're all in mm. and somebody goes, the magpies. No. It's daunting. It, it, it and then you feel a bit silly because you don't know the words. Yeah. Oh. What are the words, Botsy? Well, nah. 
I'm you can just say him. You can just say him. What? It's all right. What? Then we'll do, we're, this, we're here to inform and educate. Yeah. Well. Okay. Where the magpies, magpie club are we? Born in Fremantle, nineteen thirty. Oh, I said you could say it. You don't have to sing it. Yeah, but it, I have but to that, sing it. Otherwise, okay, I can't right, remember right, what. Right, right. Uh, nineteen thirty-three. Bom bom bom. Ah, uh, the magpie. We're proudly black and white. So he's getting distracted again. Simply awesome hockey skills and my... Did you say skills? Yeah, I think I did. You sound oh, like I'm getting distracted. We're getting oh, so now we're getting a moon. We're yes. getting a moon at Same. the window. And he's left... Oh, he's left, he's the, left the mark. He's left the mark. On it's disgusting. The window. This That's is why happens. we're recording in the morning. Yeah. So people don't misbehave don't like have, this. Yeah. The girls were good. They were leaving. But anyway, now they've just had a beautiful rendition of the club song. Everyone will now know it. You actually got it right there, though. I know. Thank you. Because well, okay. we, we put one minor change, word change, in when we moved here. Oh. Do you know what that was? No, nah, because I've been singing it that way before we moved here. So Have we? Well, we're I did. We're the magpies, the magpies club, are we? Born, not born in Fremantle, 1933. At the Magpies. So, yeah, so we changed it to at the Magpies, away from at Fremantle. We're oh, pr- because we're yes. Fremantle Coburn, so at yeah, the Magpies no. then does, yeah. it's not. Even though everybody still calls us Freya, and we still call ourselves Freya. Yeah. And it's way goodbye. There's Tanya mm-hmm. walking past, and Anne Marie, the women's yep. VP. Yep. Didn't wave at all, no. just ignored us. No. No. She hates me, I think. No, I'm joking. You get that sometimes. Yep. All right. I think Club we're done. song, done. We're done. Uh, get registered. Oh, regi- well, you can't play if you're not registered. No, so otherwise, we lose points. Well, you, yeah, you put your team at jeopardy of losing yep. points and, yep. and a financial pen- penalty mm-hmm. as well. Get your fees paid. Um, if you listen to this in time, you're not going to listen to this in time, but we've started up, we, I, have started up a unofficial Hockey WA Premier yep. League, Premier yep. 1 and 2 men and women tipping competition yeah um there's um an, an unofficial uh, uh facebook <laughs> page um for it but ask me if you want the links to get involved you're going to miss getting your tips in for the first round yeah. unfortunately sorry about that by the so time you listen to this but there's still another 21 rounds to go yeah. in the men's competition through the season plenty of opportunity um to catch up with anybody that mm. you know Gets a head start. Ten bucks in, fifty percent of the prize pool going to the first place. To me, twenty um, percent. I don't can't remember what else. Twenty twenty to second, yeah. ten to um, third, and twenty percent to grassroots hockey um, support. 30. That's the reason I've ri- written that is because if I say it's a fundraiser for Fremantle Coburn Hockey Club, there's a, a good chance people from other clubs won't won't join won't in. Won't join in. Clever. So, um, You're they a marketing c- genius, mm, MLA. Well, I'm not because we've only got 35 people signed up for it so far. And it, well, and 36 then, you know, because I'll be joining you. I forgot. You're, no, you already have. Have I? Yeah, you're on my list. Bots is on there, but I just don't know whether you put your tips in. I must have done that on Mad Monday. What is interesting, though, mm. is that uh, I can get in and see what everybody's tips are. Oh, cheating. Um, ahead of the game. No, what, no, it's no cheating. It's just interesting to see what different people from different clubs or from your own club think how they're going to go at the weekend. No. Oh, do we get your little sneaky tip for well, look, men's and women's? Th- th- there's a lot of confidence um a lot of confidence from Magpies mm. on how they're going to go this weekend. Mm. Well, I'll call it here. I reckon the men are going to win 3-2. Oh, I've got 3-2. Two. I've tipped 3-2. Two. Two? Yeah, 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 yeah. And my women are going to go we're going to pants them 3-0. Oh, there, is he is he able to hold things in two arms? No, I don't think he should. That's Devo leaving, but he's taking the VO cam that we use for uh, recording away with him. Don't know why he wants that. Oh, Too late to chase him down the street. Or something. What, what they're, they're playing games in the backyard? Who knows what they do there yeah. at the ranch? At the ranch. It's dangerous. Anyway, let's wrap it up before we keep going. Yeah. Well, we well, well, yeah. Oh, well, well, what are you looking at me like that for? Well, I thought we were you, well, you it can't up. just say let's wrap it up without having something further to say. Well, I thought that's where you normally come in. All right. Good luck to all the Freo players and supporters this weekend. Uh, make sure you get out and support each other. And uh, until next time. Yeah, and if you're not playing because you're not because you're injured or whatever, it doesn't mean you can't get off your backside and get out and cheer on the black and white. Oh.